Hello everyone, myself Prajwal S from Venkateshwar College of Engineering. Today let us study about non-conventional energy resources. Okay, before starting the session, let us see what we are going to study during this session. Introduction to non-conventional energy resources, definition, different types of energy resources, their advantages and disadvantages, and then conclusion. Introduction to non-conventional energy resources. What are non-conventional energy resources? Natural resources like wind, tides, solar, biomass, etc. which generates energy which is known as non-conventional resources. These are the pollution free and hence we can use this to produce and clean form of energy without any wastage. Like example, solar energy is used in various fields like heating of the water, producing electricity, etc. Coming up to next point, definition of non-conventional energy. Non-conventional energy resources, often known as renewable energy resources, are inexhaustible and continuously created in nature like wind energy, solar energy and geothermal energy and tidal energy, etc. Non-conventional energy or renewable energy sources are energy sources that are continuously produced in nature and are limitless. Because they are pollution free, we may use them to generate clean energy without no waste. So there are different types of non-conventional energy resources. Some of them are solar energy, wind energy, hydro energy and biomass energy. So, let us begin with solar energy. What is solar energy? Solar energy is an essential energy of all non-conventional sources, but its usage amount is very less. It is the most important non-conventional source of the energy and it gives non-polluting environmental friendly output and is available in abundant. Since this sunlight shines for about half of a day in most parts of the world, solar energy can be used for multiple purpose. So let us see what are the advantages and disadvantages of solar energy. Advantages Renewable energy sources Since they are naturally available and they are limitless, they can be used several times as they do not get depleted. Next low maintenance cost reduced electricity bills since they are available freely from the nature usage of electricity can be minimized which reduces electricity bill next coming to disadvantage weather dependent during heavy rain season there will be no use of these solar panels cost even if the maintenance cost is low, the initial initialization is very high of cost and it also uses a lot of space. Next, coming to wind energy. Wind power or wind energy describes the process by which the wind is used to generate mechanical power or electricity. Wind turbines convert the kinetic energy in the wind into mechanical power. Wind energy is generated by harnessing the power of the wind and mostly used in operating water pumps for irrigation purpose. India stands as the second largest country in the generation of wind power. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of wind energy? Advantages, it creates employment opportunity, low operating expenses and it is everlasting. As it's once installed, it can be forever. So, next disadvantages. Installed in specific area. As it cannot be installed here and there, it should be installed in specific area. It is also expensive to install turbines. And even the wind energy is also unpredictable. Next, coming to hydro energy. Hydropower or hydroelectricity power 
is one of the oldest and largest sources of renewable energy which uses the natural flow of moving water to generate electricity or generates power by using a dam or diversion structure to alter the natural flow of the river advantages and disadvantages of hydro energy advantages emission free hydro power plants especially of the reservoir type are the most suited to provide the power system with much needed emission free flexibility and they are reliable as dams are also created they also create artificial lake next coming to disadvantages impact on fish since there is a disturbance in water it may affect the aquatic ecosystem higher initial costs as construction of big big dams is very high the higher the cost flood risk since it forms artificial lake it may lead to flood when there is a heavy rainfall next coming to biomass energy biomass energy is the energy generated or produced by living or once living organisms the most common biomass materials used for energy are plants the energy from these organisms can be burned to create heat or convert into electricity efficient planting guarantees the supply meets demand in most region of the world people use wood or some form of biomass fuel for example wood is light into fire and used to heat the water advantages and disadvantages of biomass energy advantages biomass is always and widely available as a renewable source of energy it is also less expensive less garbage in landfills disadvantages biomass energy is not as efficient as fossil fuels can lead to deforestation since there there can be more cutting of trees biomass plant requires lot of space so coming to the end of the session conclusion non conventional energy resources offers a alternative to traditional fossil fuels these are eco friendly these resources are renewable resources of the energy sources as the fossil fuel are one of the most and the biggest pollutants on the planet demand for the non conventional sources is developing thank you and have a nice day please do like share and subscribe